Hi, James here. I'm going to have a look at how to create a sleeting rain in Harmony from scratch using their particle system. There's an example of what this rain looks like on my channel if you want to look at that before you actually do the tutorial so you get an idea of what we're aiming at. But So to start off with, I'd like to just sort of stick a background on, you know, something so that we're not looking just at the grey. So I'm going to just create a box on this drawing. I'm going to create a color and I'm going to make this a gradient and we'll just sort of do a light gray to a dark gray and we'll throw this on and we'll rearrange this. I'm trying to sort of make you know gray sky sort of effect. Nothing you know spectacular but something that's just sort of gives us an idea. So now we have our background, we'll expose this drawing out for our full 120 frames. And we'll rename this to my background. So the next thing we're going to want is a rain particle. So I'm just going to create a drawing and we'll call this our rain particle. And this is going to be a super simple drawing and it's just going to be a line. So let's zoom in a little bit and we'll grab our line tool and we need to make a couple of colors for this. So let's duplicate the blue and we'll call this rain one. And so we just want to take this down to sort of uh, something like that, a little bit maybe darker. And then we'll create another one and we'll call this rain two and it's a little bit more opaque but we'll make it say a little bit brighter. And one more. We'll call this rain three and we'll make that lighter, more opaque again, and much lighter. Actually, that's a bit purpley, isn't it? Let's see if we can head a little bit more towards a blue value. That's okay, we'll settle with that one. And it just doesn't really matter what sort of colors you pick, you know, you can choose what suits you. I'm just going to create a line. I think I have my tool property set at about a thickness of 8 and I'm working here on an HD screen like so that's the setting of my camera and you may want to make this rain a bit smaller but I'm going to make it this size to make it so that you can really see it. So I'm just going to put my onion skin on just so I can see where I'm drawing. I drew it on the background. We want to actually draw that on our first frame of our rain. And so our second frame, we're going to pick the next rain along and somewhere close to it. They don't have to be the exact same size. So that's our rain. So we now have three rain particles. So now that we have our rain in the background, we want to move on we want to insert a particle system. I'm just going to insert our basic particle system. Now, as you can see at the moment, it doesn't do what you really expect. Well, it's not making rain, and that's not what we want. And this is just how it comes as a default. So what I'm going to do is go to our network view, and we'll reorganize this a little bit. We want to make sure our background is at the back. And... We'll pan down. I'm going to detach our rain particle and because we're actually going to put our rain particle into our sprite emitter. I'm going to use the camera over on this window just so that we can see the changes as I make them on the network view. So just have a quick look at the components we have. We have a planar region and this is this square region here where the particle is being emitted. 
So we might want to make this bigger. So we might say pick a rectangle of 12 by 12. And immediately you can see we have a much larger size. So I'm just going to leave it at 12 by 12 so that you can see where the particles are starting. When you actually create the system, you're obviously going to want to make it bigger than your camera screen. But for now, I want to keep it at this sort of size for demonstrating. You can also change the shape of this to like a disc. You can make a triangle out of it. You can create a line of them. You can create a, coming from a point or you can draw an image and have it coming from that. For this, we're just going to use the rectangle. So the next thing we have here, we've got a particle system composite, and that's just very similar to the composite that you're used to using. We have a particle baker, which actually makes the particles into one layer, rather than having, because you can make them in 3D, so you'll have particles in lots of different Z depths, but when you bake them into one layer, you need to bake them out so they're all in one layer. And then you have a visualizer, and this has basically a couple of things of how to actually show the particle. Now we don't want these dots, so we're going to first of all go into our sprite emitter, and this is what actually emits the particle. Now we want it not to just emit dots, we want it to emit this rain particle that we've plugged into it. And we want it to be emitted over this planar region. So to do this, we need to change our rendering strategy to using a particle type. And as you can see now, let's just turn off. Let's go down here and turn off our onion skinning. You can now see that we actually have our rain. And so that's the basics of our rain. Obviously, at the moment, it's not doing what we want it to do. It's just creating more and more of it. So what we want to do is we'll next have a look at the generation. Now, we want it to generate over 1 to 3. And the reason we want it to generate over 1 to 3 is we've got three different particles. And you can see that when I change this, we now over here have all of our different particles. Let's just flip over to the camera because it's clearer. You can see the three different ones that I've drawn have all appeared separately. So we now have our three particles. You can now go over to our sprite emitter and you can change this to make them random or sequential. By making it sequential means you'll get one of the first drawing, one of the next drawing, one of the third drawing, and it will follow that over and over. Randomly make a random amount of each drawing rather than you know a perfect amount. So I'm going to turn it to random, just so we have a nice random and rain effect. Now I'm just going to stop, uh, stop here and take a pause, and then we'll move on to the next part of the tutorial in another video. And then we'll get into actually animating the particle and making it sort of run across the screen like sleet rather than just filling up this box.